So welcome to the Lawson site. Uh, this is an archaeological site that dates back to about 1500 AD. It's a village that was occupied by people who were the ancestors of Iroquois speaking peoples of southern Ontario. Uh, this would have been a very large village, upwards of a thousand people living here at any given time uh, at either side of 1500 AD. Uh, and these people lived behind a, a large wall, stockade, or a palisade, and in long, um, long houses, structures where multiple families lived. There were over about 30 uh, uh, that have been identified on this site so far. This is a field school that the anthropology department at Western is running, and it's a unique field school because it's not really about digging a site, it's about not digging a site. We're excavating former areas that were archaeologically excavated uh, in the past. In fact, the Lawson site has been part of Western uh, research and activity since the 1890s. So there's been a lot of people on this site over the years doing archaeology. And what we're trying to adopt here is a long-term management plan to care for this location. And part of that means going to areas that were previously excavated, cleaning them up, making sure that everything was documented uh, in those reports is here and then actually rehabilitating them, filling them back in. So this is very different form of archaeology than we see in Ontario uh, where sites are normally dug up. Uh, this is all about not digging up the site. Uh, and in this area we're excavating a portion of the site where in the woods there's been no soil buildup, there's been no farming, so it's very thin topsoil. The ar archaeological material is right on the surface of the site. And what we're doing here is actually getting that site back to the condition it was way back when, when, when archaeologists first encountered here, uh, came here. Uh, <coughs> if I could get you guys to come over here for a second, I want to show you so something in this unit. So we've been talking about opening up these units and finding subsoil and sometimes we see things other than the lighter color subsoil. We have something right here. So this is a cultural feature. Uh, if you can come here. You see all through this darker soil are bits of burnt wood, charcoal. And it's a circular feature. You see how that stands out in the subsoil? Mm -hmm. So that's not just a piece of topsoil that we need to trowel down. If I troweled that further, it would still be there. The size of it makes me think it's a support post, a post mold for a big post that went in the ground in this location. It could be something else as well too, but that's what we're going to aim for here. Now what we have to decide is whether we record this and leave this intact or we take it out, we dig it up. Um, so what do you guys think? What should you, we do here for rehabilitating this area and filling it back in? What should we do? Map it, leave it intact. Map it, leave it intact. Okay, who votes? Is that everyone? Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here. We're not going to dig it up. We're going to record it and map it intact. Now that has implications for how we want to fill this in because that's a cultural feature that we may want to get back to or someone may want to get back to at some point in the future. So we can't, for example, lay down gravel on top of this area uh, because we need to have access to this cultural feature again. So that's what we'll do. We'll record it, keep it intact, and we don't want to take down the soil anymore in that area. Is that what we want to do for all cultural features we find in this area? No. Do you want to dig some? <laughs> okay. <Probably. laughs> so, well, yes, we could find cool <laughs> stuff, but the other thing is some features may be partially excavated. So we're seeing holes in some of these units.